Hello and welcome to a preview of one segment of a lesson from the School of Screen Printing. Many of those just starting out in the screen printing technologies are sold stretch and glue screens as the distributor's way of making it affordable to get into screen printing. While there are many ways to look at this, the fact remains that all mesh will lose tension. Yes, even work hardened mesh will lose tension over time. Low tension is the bane of screen printers, causing great and costly harm to the ink transfer process once the screen is on press. With each squeegee stroke, the mesh is stretched slightly and there is a minute amount of tension lost. Over time, the mesh tension will be reduced to the point that it must be retentioned or discarded. Guess which one of those methods the distributor prefers? Mesh can become work hardened with retentioning, which lengthens the time span between retentionings. Mesh can be retentioned for years without problems unless there's a human error. Obviously, retention is less costly than discarding the mesh and thus the need to embrace the latest technology of retentionable roller frames. Your optimum tension should be that which is recommended by the mesh manufacturer in their specification guide. This assures that the mesh opening is optimal for ink transfer. Lower tension levels will not allow the ink to readily flow through the reduced mesh opening and create the need for multiple squeegee strokes which decreases the margins of the job. When mesh falls two newtons per centimeter squared below the recommended lowest tension level, it should be retentioned or subject to replacement. The reasoning is simple, but normally not seen. The illustration here is looking down upon the coating process from above. When coating with low tension mesh, the weight of the emulsion in the scoop coater pushes the mesh away from the straight edge of the scoop coater. This in turn produces a thicker deposit of emulsion in the middle of the screen. As the screen is placed into the drying rack, gravity continues to control the process and the weight of the emulsion causes it to flow to the bottom of the mesh in an uneven fashion, matching the deposit made with the scoop cutter. And it dries in these varying thicknesses in a circular pattern from the center outwards. When the screen is exposed, it will be impossible to evenly harden the emulsion of differing thicknesses. There will be more detail held at the point between the thickest and thinnest areas, but the detail will suffer in the middle and at the edges, again in a circular fashion. If you expose for the thickness in the center, the outside edges will be overexposed, or vice versa if you expose for the thinnest thicknesses at the edges. You cannot possibly have an even exposure. When the screen goes to press, an uneven ink deposit will be made, as the wet ink thickness is directly related to the thickness of the stencil. The ink will be thicker in the center of the screen and grow increasingly thinner towards the edges, again in a circular fashion. Because the ink is thicker in the middle, it will be more opaque and less opaque towards the edges. The lower the tension on the mesh, the more visible this effect becomes. Of course, most press operators will then make two passes of the squeegee to fix the problem, building up the ink deposit at twice the cost in ink and twice the cost in labor, or more if the printer chooses to flash gel the ink between the coatings. And that means more time, which means that the production for the day will be cut in half, along with the revenue produced by the shop. But wait, we're not through with the bad news for those who attempt to use low-tension mesh yet. Now that you've spent two or three times longer to print the job and lost both time and margins on the job, the ink must be cured. Curing for the thicker deposit is not a solution as this will leave the thinner ink over cured and it will flake away during the laundering process. Maybe the client will give you an opportunity to reprint the job, which leaves you further in debt, or maybe they'll go somewhere else next time. Curing for the thinner deposit will not work either, as this will leave the thicker ink uncured or undercured, and it will fall away during the laundering process as well. So no, you cannot cure both thicknesses equally, and your work will fail the client's expectations. It's your choice whether you use the proper tools such as well-tensioned mesh or choose to have your work rejected by the client you serve. 
and that is only one reason for not using low tension mesh. There are many more reasons, but this one alone should be enough to make you take notice and make the changes necessary to do better work. The main thing to remember is that we're in business to meet the client's expectations, and they are the ones who give us the money to invest in the equipment and materials that will allow us to do great work. It really isn't our money until we spend it on our own needs. Thank you for watching this video, and if you received some helpful information, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube or Facebook. I'm Bill Hood with the School of Screen Printing, and may all your impressions be great.